So I spent a couple hundred dollars to figure out the best way to catch up crypto so you don't have to. And in this video, we'll go through the different platforms that I'm using and I trust, the trading fee they charge, the withdrawal fees they have, and how fast these transactions take. So these platforms are not ranked in any order, but at the end of the video, I'll give you an overview of each platform which can give you some clarity. So if you're looking to use any of these platforms that is going to be in this video, I've left links in my description down below where you get some freebies when you sign up with these platforms. So the first platform that we have is Gemini. So Gemini is ran by the Wingo Voss Twins. So in Gemini, they have the Singapore dollar pairing, but these are only for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and GUSD. So if you've got any crypto that you want to cash out or off ramp in some sense, consider converting them into GUSD would be a wiser option because you then get lower fees if you activate the active trader mode, which can be found at the top right hand corner under the accounts tab. So at Gemini, the conversion fees from ETH to SGD is at 0.4%, which is a little bit on the higher side, but it's still pretty okay. So if you got larger volumes, then this might cost you a little bit more. So Gemini works on a tier fee model. So if you trade more often, you get less fees charged. But the base rate here is at 0.4% for taker and 0.2% for maker. So this scales down all the way to 0.03% for taker and 0% for maker if you're trading more than $500 million. So today I'm just cashing out a little bit of Ethereum just for the sake of this video and Jordan's gonna just bring you through that right now. Alrighty, so now we are on the Gemini platform, right? So if you look at the screen here, I do have some Ethereum here, like 0.03, very little Ethereum, but you know, it's just for the purpose of the video, we're just going to do a little bit of test, right? So we're on the ETH to SGD pair. So what I love about Gemini is that they have this option here where you are able to do ETH to SGD straight. So they do have other pairs as well, but most of them, are, you know, it's just the major coins like Bitcoin and Ethereum as well as GUSD. So one thing that you might want to do is, you know, if you are transferring other cryptos in, you might want to convert them into GUSD and then from there you're able to convert them into SGD which is a little bit more stable. So once you are in the ETH SGD pair, so like some, for example me, I'm doing ETH to SGD so this is where I'm going to put my pairs in, my order, my trip, you know, whatever you want to call this. Uh, I think one important note to have is to set on the active trader that we mentioned earlier on. So with the active trader, your fees are a lot lesser and let me show you why. So if you go to the sell, we are going to sell 0.03 ETH for SGD. So we're just going to do like 100%. And you can see that the fees here is like 30 cents for like $75 worth of ETH, uh, which is at 0.4%, which is still pretty okay. I think it's pretty okay if you're doing that. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to click on sell. So once the order is filled, uh, you can see it's 0% filled, so we just wait for a little while to get the order filled. Alrighty, and we are back. So the order has been filled. Um, the order is no longer here. If you look at order history, you can see that this is what we sold here. $75.68. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to transfer. We're going to go withdraw cash. Alrighty, so at the withdraw stage here, what you're going to click on is we're going to search for Singapore dollar SGD. There we go. Okay, so you can see here that I have $75.53 of SGD. We're just going to click on continue, withdraw to my UOB card. Yep, there we go. We're going to click on continue. We're going to do max $75.53 and we're going to click on continue. All right, so this is the date. We're gonna keep, we're just gonna take note of this, right? Because we wanna see how fast it is. So over here it says withdraw via fast takes within uh, one business day. Should be pretty fast. So we're gonna just click on withdraw. And then look at the top here. Withdraw has been initiated, so we just have to wait. And once the money comes through, I will just update in the video. So now it's back to future Jordan. So I think Gemini is pretty simple and easy to use. And to be honest, you just need to remember to on the active trader to get lower fees. So next up is Crypto.com. So for Crypto.com, it's a little bit of a controversy here because I have been using their cards for quite a while, but I stopped using them since they removed the rebates in CRO tokens. So on Crypto.com, I'm mainly holding CRO tokens right now because I stake them quite a bit for the credit card. So if you're using the app, you need to connect your wallet to StraightX, just like how I connected mine. So right now you can see my account right here, I have 466 CRO, which is roughly about $28 USD. And if you're using the app, you must connect your wallet to StraightX, which you have to create a new account for that as well. And from there, you're able to directly sell whatever crypto you want into Sing dollars. So like right now, we're just gonna sell CRO tokens. So you can see I'm gonna convert um, CRO 
uh, right back to Sing Dollar right here. So we're gonna get $37.31 of XSGD. So we're just gonna hit sell and confirm. So once that's done, you have sold. Um, that's all done and dusted. All right, so once we have converted that, you can see that in our fiat wallet, we have $27.41. So this is in USD, which is roughly 37.13 XSGD. All right, so once you're logged into StraightX or created an account with StraightX and connected it to your crypto.com, you will see that your balance on StraightX here, like for example, mine is at $37.39. So what we're gonna do here is to click transfer out. We're gonna select the X asset that is XSGD we're going to click on bank transfer. So it says here XSGD will be converted one to one for Singapore dollar and sent to your bank account. So over here, we're going to collect, click on my bank account. We're going to click 37.39. Okay, so something to take note here is that there's a minimum transfer of $10 of XSGD if you're using straight X and the daily limit is at 200,000. So that's something you wanna take note of if you're trading a lot or, or removing a lot of money off from the crypto market. So once that's done, we're gonna click proceed, authentication code, authentication code, and then verify. So it's gonna bring it to a new screen where it says bank transfer request submitted and $37.39 will be credited into my UOB bank account. So that is how you do it with crypto.com. It's a little bit more complex with a few more steps because you need to go through like two different platforms. But all in all, that's I think it's pretty okay if you're doing like a large sum of money. So fees wise, um, I don't think there's any fees on straight X. Everything is probably paid on crypto.com site. So you're gonna be pretty okay. So crypto.com do have a fee of 0.4% for any transactions that happen on the crypto.com app. So if you're trading on the crypto.com exchange, the fees there is at 0.075%, which is super low right now and very, very decent. And the only bad thing about the exchange is that you're not able to convert crypto into XSGD, which is neither on straight X side. So next up, we have CoinHako. So CoinHako is like the golden child for crypto in Singapore. And on CoinHako, it's a lot simpler to convert your crypto into cash because the interface is really simple. And for the simplicity that you have on the app, you do pay a little bit more in trading fees and withdrawal fees. So CoinHako charges 0.6% on buys and sells on crypto and fiat, which is much higher than any other platforms that we have spoke of today. And to withdraw your dollar out into fiat, it's a $2 fee. All right, so we're on CoinHako's page right now or the app application. We're gonna click on Bitcoin because I'm selling Bitcoin, although it's down right now because I love you guys, that's why I'm doing this. So we're gonna click on trade. We're gonna click on sell. So when you click on sell, it's to sell into fiat straight away. If you click on swaps, it's to swap between different cryptocurrencies. So we're gonna click on sell. We're gonna click 100%, $63.87, fees at 0.6% or for almost 40 cents sing dollars. So we're gonna click on preview and we are gonna click sell. So the order here is pretty fast. Uh, it's almost instant that you get your Bitcoin done and you see it's done already. So what we're gonna do is we'll return to Super Wallet. And you can see right now on Fiat, there's a little arrow on the top. We're gonna to click on that. We're gonna click on Withdraw. So I have two different banks here, which, I, which is exactly, oh my God, why is it the same bank? Okay, but nonetheless, we are just gonna select any one of these banks. We're gonna click uh, Withdraw. So this will withdraw $61.88 into my bank account. And that is the amount that I'll receive after the $2 fee. So we're just going to click preview withdraw, proceed. All right, verification code. All right, so once we key in all the pin and verification stuff, um, it says here you should receive your funds within the next 72 hours, which I think is pretty decent. Um, accounting that Gemini was almost instant. I think crypto.com might be coming through already. Uh, and then we'll look at the next one, which is Independent Reserve. So lastly, we got Independent Reserve. So Independent Reserve is very similar to CoinHako. They charge like 0.5% for trading and $1.50 for fiat withdrawals. So the fees might be a little bit cheaper than CoinHako, but what Independent Reserve lacks of is the variety of coins. So I've been using Independent Reserve for almost a, a year and a half, maybe two years, but they have been constantly adding new coins every now and then. So if you're looking to use independent reserve, so do check that they have the tokens that you are looking to trade before you even sign up for the account because they might not have tokens that you are looking to sell or buy. Alrighty, so now I'm gonna walk you through how to use independent reserve. So as you can see on the screen right now, we are already logged into the platform. Um, I think independent reserve is a lot easier on the web than the app version of it. I don't use the um, 
the app version as much but basically it's almost the same uh, there are certain things that you can only do on the web that's why i use the web more so this is the balance that i have right now you can see that i have 20 dollars in sing dollars i have um 75 dollars in bitcoin so i'm pretty lucky i got some sing dollar here so i don't have to really sell any crypto that i don't want to but anyhow so what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna click on sing dollar we're gonna click on this icon here that says withdraw sing dollar so by clicking on it we can key in the amount that we want so in this case um we're just gonna do the maximum right and then we're gonna select the bank account so this is my bank account that we're gonna withdraw to comment this is gonna be optional and then you see here there's a withdrawal fee of one dollar and fifty cents so that is something that you might want to take note of so if we do a withdrawal of $20.80, we'll only get $19.30 after the $150 last. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on withdraw. And we're going to key in our 2FA code right down here. Alrighty. And then we have an email confirmation code as well. Okay, so this is all done. You can see everything is broken down very nicely here. Amount that I will receive is $19.30 amount that is deducted is from my account is $20.80 so the transaction fee is $1.50 um, it's going to be sent to my DBS account so over here I think it's still being it's still being pending so it's probably going to take a while uh, and I'll update the time once we receive um, you know the withdrawals I think it shouldn't be a while probably within 24 hours but that's all for independent reserve um, and it's going to be back to future Jordan so right after we recorded the segment for independent reserve on how to buy and sell into fiat and out of fiat, we got a deposit almost immediately which is pretty amazing. So this could be because I'm withdrawing a very small amount so if you're drawing larger amounts, it might take a little while longer but you know I'm still pretty amazed like it's almost instantaneous. So this brings us to the end of today's video but I have summarized all these four platforms into a table that I'm using to withdraw my cryptocurrencies because we all need to eat and not many places accept crypto. So on this table, you're able to see the different trading fees the withdrawal fees and the time to withdraw and I'll leave this on the screen for a while so that you guys can screenshot and always come back to this video to have an understand of how the process works so this brings us to the end of today's video I hope you guys got some insights of how much it costs to withdraw your cryptocurrencies into fiat and if you're looking to start an account with these platforms I've left links in the description down below so that you can get your account started and I do get some freebies as well and you get some freebies as well so if you haven't do drop a like subscribe turn on the notifications and as always stay safe invest safe and i'll see you guys in the next one